She bought my toxic heart earring, my crystal prism earring, small heart earrings, and lastly, my cute bunny earrings. Here's it all packaged, and we just add a cute little thank you sticker. And since this is a large order, I added a second tea light to her order. Then here's a handwritten letter with a business card inside and a sticker. Thank you so much for the support. It really means a lot. less visitors to our site please like comment or copy link we would love for more people to discover our rad business and chase their dreams in our cool clothes it only takes a second but makes a big difference welcome to the girl game um pro tip use eco and clothes i just got my very first package in and i'm super happy with the quality i ordered 500 bubble mailers 
Um, I got the 4 by 6.75 inches size. They're made with recycled content, they're recyclable, and they're reusable because they have two seals. Um, they're also waterproof, which is super important when you're selling something. Two orders. So we're going to just pack both of them now. So she ordered a bunch of our Chile Gushers. Good pick, Michaela. These are my top favorite. So she got three of the regular jars and two of the large jars. And then she also got two of the large Chile roll -ups. So I'm just placing everything into the box and packing everything up. Thank you so much, Michaela. I really hope that you enjoy everything. Cake and it took me forever, so I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So I started off making this chocolate cake, which I took out of with my bare hands. But then I made some thicky frosting with you, and then I used my brushed piping tips to make all these flowers on my cupcakes, and they looked all fun. Then I made some more frosting because I ran out, and then made these little rosettes this time, and then I arranged them all in my cupcake box, and they were very nice and cute. Then I made a two layer cake with some pink frosting in the middle that was left over with my cupcakes, and I frosted the whole thing with a little crumb coat, and I popped that baby in the fridge to chill. I took it back out, and I frosted it again. It looks exactly the same as I did before. Um, and then I used my cake home make all these fun little stripes and i pop that baby in the fridge again for two hours and then i made these different shades of this pink buttercream and i used that to fill in the stripes of my cake and i smoothed it out and then i had these nice little pink and white ombre stripes very fun very cute then i dripped some chocolate down the side until it looked all nice and i added this nice little border how many times can i say nice then i wrote happy birthday cami which i forgot to film until later and then i gave it to my clients um and they seem to like it how much i like but I watch your eyes as she walks by What a sight for sore eyes Brighter than the blue sky What we do here is go she back, 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 back. questions that I get asked almost every single day. When you're your own boss and it's your own business, you have to remember that your business is going to grow as much as you put into it. You are the face behind your business. You are the name. You have to promote, promote, promote your business. 
I am a huge believer that with social media you can grow your business and make tons and tons of sales. You have to be extremely consistent. Don't let a day go by without posting, without talking about your products, without talking about upcoming launches. Get people excited for what you are selling. Another thing is PR. PR is a great way to get your stuff out there, get your name out there. Yes, you're setting price for free, but you're also getting a lot of exposure and change. So go out there, promote your stuff, be consistent, and watch your business grow. If you're a small business, use the sound and let's just help each other grow. Let's create exposure for each other. So that a purple rain, and so here I am restocking, and they'll be available for purchase on my website. Especially if you're hand making items. People love to see their process and how everything is made. Number two, invest in bulk items and using wholesalers for purchasing your product. It saves so much more money. Three, actually spend time on packaging and carefully packing each item. People love to see that. And four, try using Pinterest to drive traffic to your shop. It is awesome.